We're back, back to making van videos. Finally, it's been ages. It's been ridiculously ages. This van is absolutely disgusting. I genuinely haven't been in here since making that one minute short story video of me moaning about how I'm gonna rip the van apart and start again. Now, over the past month or so, or whatever it's been, probably longer than that, that is all that's been going through my head. I've been distracting myself, making other videos, making the shoe video, and just going over and over and over in my head what to do. I still don't know, to be honest, but one thing that's happened today is the sun's shining. There's a prospect of us finally getting out of lockdown. And so I've come out of here, come out of here, should I say, and I thought, I just put too much work and too much love into this to rip it apart. So what I think I'm gonna do is finish it, get it to a standard that I'm happy with, use it throughout the spring, then maybe, just maybe, I might put it up for sale towards the end of spring, and I might do another one. So, what we're gonna do today, I think, is, there's loads of little issues with the van. You might see the drawers missing because it fell out when I was driving along, along over Christmas time. I was coming back from Cornwall, it just fell out, so I need to come up with a different way of holding it in position, maybe stronger magnets or get some different clips or something, I don't know. I need to get this cupboard built, I need to get the garage area built, so I think, I think in today's video, we're gonna make a start with the garage area because it's about the only part of the whole van that I'm 100% confident with, that I know what I'm doing with, because <laughs> I know I keep saying it, but this could still change a bit. Maybe not to the extent of what I said before, but it just, it just, it's been running through my mind like mad over the last month. And now the sun is shining and the weather's getting a little bit better. It's now gone through my head. Like if I rip all this out, I'm working now. Whereas last summer I wasn't working. So I built a van It just in my own time. It was great. Whereas now I've only got the odd weekend. And if I start this again, it's gonna, it's gonna wipe out another year. And I just wanna be using it. I've only really used the van in the winter time. So maybe, Maybe it'd be silly of me to rip it all apart. Maybe just deal with it. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So let's just get it finished. So yeah, as I said, the garage area, what we're gonna do, I've got the drawer runners now, and I've also got a nice bit of wood to stick at the back of the bed, because obviously that's not finished. So we'll, uh, we'll crack on with that, shall we? Yeah, we'll go from there. Right, before I crack on with building this garage drawer, I'm gonna finally finish this bit off, the bed end, if you like. So this wasn't ever meant to be carpet. It was supposed to have a board put on it just to cover the switch, come down here, and then just as, a, as an end stop for the bed to stop someone like me falling out, because I'm only skinny, and I do manage to climb down that little gap. So what we're gonna use to do that is this. I bought this originally to turn into a table that will lower down to turn the seating area into another bed, but I never just, I just never got around to doing it. I don't know if you can see, I don't know if this will show it, but it's actually warped because for the last, like, however many months I've had this board, it sat leaning against the radiator and twisted under the heat. So that's a massive pain in the backside. So what I'm going to do instead, a bit shaky, is uh, use it for this uh, end board for the bed. It's just Wix timber board. It's quite expensive, it might have been like 50, 60 quid for this board, but it'll do the job. So I'm literally gonna screw it up there and then uh, varnish it the same color as the roof. If you can see, yeah, varnish it the same color as the roof and then I'll put some hooks along the back here to hang my, my bike helmets and what have you up, some bags, extra storage. So yeah, we are on with that.
Moment of truth, let's see if he fits. Oh, it's beautiful. That do. I'm gonna put some hooks on here eventually so I can do things like hang my lids up and whatever else, some bags. But I'm pleased with that. That fits really well. The next step is to varnish it. So I said before I'm gonna varnish it the same color as the roof. So all I'm gonna use is this mahogany Colron wood dye. I'm literally just gonna rub it on with an old rag and hopefully after a couple of coats it'll come out the same colour as the roof and it'll look lovely. Then I'll fix it up. Sweet, chuff on that. What do you reckon? Oh, it looks well. I'm gonna get some hooks to cover over these uh, screws so you won't see them, but I had to stagger them to get the support, to get the strength, but it's definitely finished it off nicely. Next job is to build this bloody drawer. I better get cleaned out, I suppose. Right, we have a bit of a plan with this. So what I want to do is make one big drawer that just pulls out of the van like full length. So I can strap my bikes to it, maybe put a dog kennel on it and put a storage box on it so I haven't got to climb into this space and able to, to be able to access it. So it'll all pull out. So I bought these big heavy duty drawer runners. Now these are gonna fix, one's gonna fix there, another, another one is gonna fix on a piece of timber, the other side here. Now, what I think I am gonna do is get this timber fixed and then get all this carpeted out. Hopefully I've got enough carpet. Then I'll fix, I'll mount the, uh, the drawer runners on and then I'm gonna build one big drawer, again, using this as a frame and I've got some hardwood ply as the base for it. And then hopefully that'll be my drawer. It shouldn't be too bad. I just want to go and check I've got enough carpet and I can get this timber fixed in. I don't know what this is. This is like three by two or something like that. But this idea it was quite lightweight. It's like softwood pine, so I'm hoping it should be right. So I, I don't want to be adding more weight to this bloody van. I haven't had it, haven't had it weighed yet and I'm a little bit nervous too. So let's, uh, it just makes this whole area a lot more practical and a lot more usable. So here we go. Again. Thank <laughs> you. 
Right, both of the drawer runners are in. As you can see, they're both lock, so you can just push this down and the whole runner will come right out as far as there. As you can see, if it focuses. Um, so that one I've put a bit of timber in. I haven't fixed it this end yet because I still need to uh, put a board in the floor and then I'll put a brace in across here. Um, it's fixed at the back. This side, as you can see, I've carpet. I ran out of carpet, That's, so I've carpeted the box and I didn't have enough carpet to carpet the floor. I'd like to carpet all this eventually so I can do it later on that. Um, so I've just fixed this to the side of the box in. Same thing again, just pulls right out. So what I'm gonna do now is, is basically cut a bit of ply, the same size as that, which is there, as you can see. I've got faith to go my tube, I am not child friendly. <laughs> they have been doing me in all morning. Um, so yeah, I'm going to cut a bit of ply, the same size as this, and then I'm basically going to build a, a square frame and just frame the ply out with what well, this timber I've got left. And hopefully that'll create the draw. So, let's, uh, let's get on with that, shall we? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm tough with this. That's good? Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> filming for a bit because I got absolutely bombarded by kids that wanted to be on YouTube so <laughs> I didn't film the rest of the build but it's done it's finished it works I'll take you through it so as you can see she's in looks a treat so I've just screwed these on the corners I know it's not the neatest job the neatest job would be one of those uh, tools that does this but it's okay it's fine I would like to carpet this or, or paint it or do something with it but yeah, so these are locked. It's locked out at the minute, so it can't move. That's good. The only thing is, it's not perfect. It's going to be awkward with the camera. Hang on, let me put you down. Right, unlock it. And it pushes in. It's a bit, it's a bit of a tight spot at the minute, but... Yeah, there we go. Look at that. And she's in. There we are. Isn't it beautiful? So like I said, I'll tidy, I will tidy this up. I'm gonna put another support from here across to here just to fix this because it's not fixed for this end of the minute, it's just fixed on the um, the wheel arch over there. And obviously I need to put a board in here, so it all needs to be tidied up. But that looks okay, carpeted, that looks good. So yeah, happy about that. I'm gonna get some of those hub bike mounts and stick along here so I can put my bikes in on the jaw. And then I bought this, so the, which is gonna go fix it to it over there somewhere because I've been using this cardboard box here <laughs> to stash all my stuff so what I might do as I keep saying I might put that there and actually build a dog kennel at the front there and then cut a hole through so the obviously the dogs can then come through from the uh, the living area into here that's the dream but yeah there we have it all done pleased it feels good to have got another video out I hope you enjoyed this one. It's been a while. It's been too long, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try and keep getting videos out weekly or every other week, but more regular than what I have done. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Even if you didn't enjoy it, hit that like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one. Mm -hmm.